went to the Torrance flea market today, but uh, I also went garage sailing a couple of days ago, so I'm going to include those few things in the uh, flea market haul. Um, this is my first uh, garage sale. It's an English biscuit tin. It says England on the bottom. got these two little mid-century modern bowls. They are from Jackson Custom China Falls Creek, Pennsylvania, USA. Union made. I guess, I don't know, you could, these could be berry bowls or you could put nuts in them. Lots of uses. Nice small size. I got more Victorian silver plate. Uh, this is the Derby Company, is the mark on the bottom. And I thought this had a really pretty pattern around the edge of the creamer. That's nice, really nice one. And I got this upholstery fabric. There's a ton here. There's like six yards of this Cabbage Rose upholstery fabric. And that was $4. Oh, and the, uh, the bowls were a dollar each, I think. The pitcher was, this was $7, I think. I got this really nice little wooden box, turned wood. Nice, no mark on it, but it's really nicely made. Love me some boxes. And that was a dollar. I got this absolutely adorable little chicky planter. It's filthy. No mark. Looks like the remnants of a price tag. Might not be that old. But how cute is that? I got a little chintz dish. Um, the maker on this is Royal Chintz. This is actually, I think a pitcher used to sit in, a look a little miniature pitcher, but um, the pitcher wasn't there, so I just got the dish. You could use that for all kinds of stuff. I have these little dishes all over my house. I use them for pens and paper clips and change and whatever. They always come in handy. I got this Bennington Pottery. Uh, this is actually a snack dish, I think. It's shaped like a skillet. And it's uh, speckled cinnamon. There you can see the mark on the back. It's Bennington Potteries. That's the pattern number. That's the name of the um, designer, which is David Gill, I think. So, anyway. And the last garage sale find was this lovely hand embroidered from Portugal pillow slip, which was a whole dollar. When you think about all the work that went into that, and it's never, never been used, never been taken out of the package or had the tag removed. So it's very nice. Now we're on to the flea market. I got another pink flower paper weight, hoping that um, my client will also want this one. She's wanting me to keep my eye out for them, so. Oh, and that was $3. I got all these tooled leather um, little coin purses. This is a souvenir of Alaska. All the others are Mexico, with different designs on them. They're really pretty. Deer and all kinds of stuff. And these were $2 a piece. I got this crazy looking tray. I think that it's um, paper mache. It's Japanese or Chinese. I think Japanese, probably. Uh, 
is the back of it. Obviously, it's been used a bit, but I think it's pretty. I just think it looks pretty. I don't know. And that price is not what I paid for it. I paid $1.50 for it. Woo! I got this piece of needlepoint. I got that for $4. be a pillow cover or frame it or put it on a footstool or something. I seem to be selling a lot of those. So I keep buying them. I got this brass and lapis belt. It's got a couple of minor condition issues. There's some oxidation on it that I'll have to clean off. And uh, I just need to shine it up. I think there's a chain. Yeah, there's a chain right here. It needs repair, so I'll have to figure out how to fix that. But otherwise, a really neat piece. It is from, uh, what, did I, what did it say, Afghanistan? No, it says, yes. Afghanian lapis is what it says on the, this old label, so who knows. But I like it. I got these mid-century mosaic coasters. There's seven of them. All each one's different. I don't have any idea what these sell for, but I just they remind me of yeah, I've never seen this mosaic tile like in modern times. I'd like to make something with it, but anyway, um, these cost me five dollars for all seven. Uh, I got this nice serpentine, or I don't know what you call this, but anyway, it's a nice silver tone chain, nicely made. For a buck, I got a bunch of this ball chain. I'm sure that I can find a use for that. And I got two big long pieces of it for a dollar. Now, here's the sort of mysterious buy of the day. I got these two knives. Now, I suspect that these are some kind of souvenir knives, but I think they're old. This one is like so. Hope you can see this. It's got carved wood on the scabbard and on the handle. This one's got these inlaid stones. It's brass. With them looking. Neither one of them's terribly sharp. I just thought they were interesting and thought I'd take a chance on them because I don't know. I just couldn't couldn't walk away from them, and I paid nine dollars a piece, which seemed like a pretty good deal, even just for the aesthetic value. I got this um, piece of Venetian glass. There's no label on it, but I suspect it's Murano because it's got that mirror smooth bottom. And this part might be Vaseline glass, like it'll fluoresce under a black light. I'm not sure. But this is very mid-century. My parents had some of these that were gold with bubbles in them. And I think it was intended to be an ashtray, but you could use it for anything you wanted. That was $5. I got this big basket of fruit. I don't know, think you're going to be able to see it, the whole basket, but I'll show you some of the fruit. This one's missing its stem. It was a whole basket of wooden fruit, though. How cool is that? There's a lemon. Or, yeah, I guess it's a lemon. It's got little dimples on it. My favorite, the grapes. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pieces of wooden fruit. And the basket they came in for $4. It's it a good deal. And now let me show you the rest of the jewelry. 
I got this Art Nouveau pen. It's probably from the 1930s, maybe the 20s. It's brass. It's probably uh, Bohemian. And that was $5. I got these cute little earrings. Oops. You can see them. Ah! Okay, well, one of them just popped out. But anyway. Um, let's see if I can show you one. Really cute little brass and some kind of stone. Might be turquoise. It's, or it might just be enamel, but it's nice, pretty, nicely made. Those were $2. Of course, I just lost the back to one of them. This is probably a uh, Bohemian or Czech made pin from the 1930s. It's missing a stone, but I have replacement stones that are Swarovski crystals. They're very nice, and that's probably. They probably used Austrian crystal, so it, they always seem to match pretty well. So, um, and that was four dollars. This is a nice Art Deco pin, and this was five dollars. None of these are marked. They're probably all European made. This is an interesting one. This is older. I think this might be a Victorian or maybe very early 1900s. Here's the back of it. It's got um, an old style hinge, tube hinge, but it does have a safety clasp. I guess they've been using those safety clasps for a pretty long time, but I would say this is early 1900s. We got this. This is another bohemian type. There's the back. And that was four dollars. And then another Art Deco pen. This was probably, this is, um, got, might be jet. It probably is just black glass though and uh, marcasites and very art deco design. This has got a little mark on it that I haven't been able to read yet. I've got to get some super magnification and try and read it. It would be nice if I can find out the maker on it. I got these jumbo red glass earrings. I had a pair almost just like this that I sold. Oh gosh. Several years it's been there, but uh, those were a dollar. And then I got this little guy, and I'm not too sure about him. I don't know what he's made of. He's not super old, but um, it's not, I don't think it's just run-of-the-mill plastic. It's something else because it's, he's got um, crackling. Um, I don't know what it is. I gotta find out. But he's cute. Dollar. And that's it. That's my vintage haul. Thanks for sticking with me. And um, please like and subscribe and share if you care to. And comment. I love to hear your comments. Uh, most of these items will be for sale at vintagedazzle.etsy.com. I will put the link in the description. Um, a few might turn up on eBay. My, um, I have a store on eBay, but um, I'm having some problems with the name of it right now. I think it's called Carolinux Vintage because I couldn't use Vintage Dazzle because somebody already used it, which is annoying. But anyway, it's easier just to look for the I search for the item and you'll be able to find it. I think probably the knives are going to go up there. Anyway, thanks again. Have a great day. Bye.